What's going on, Reddit? Red Beyond here, and today we have another video from Gundam Evolution. Don't know what we're jumping into. This is going to be a straight react and see what's happening. You already know these usually have new suits, so without further ado, let's go. Alright. So last time we got what? It was heavy arms, right? And that was pretty dope. So it's going to be really, it's going to be difficult for them to kind of over, you know, do it. Uh, huh, that's interesting. I don't know if that's like another game mode, because I don't remember seeing that at all. Heavy arms is dope. Bro, this animation is sick. Oh, this is sick. Oh, bro, what? Bro, really? Yo, let's go. Let's go. Clap off Gundam Double Up. They needed another suit in this game. It's a sniping suit. Of course, it would be a sniping suit, right? Ooh, we have two sniping suits now. Look at that shield. Oh, bro, what? Okay, that's dope. That's really dope. <laughs> I just love the way that looks. I'm gonna play the game like that and it just looks dope. So, like, the, the dual beam pistols is so, like, iconic to me. The suits, I think, it was Dynamis and freaking, um... Strike Nord. Oh, I would love to see this again. Bruh. Okay, so this you're you're trying it's like an instant pop? Or is he getting headshots? I don't know. Oh, he's still popping people. Hey, there's our boy. <laughs> hey, let's go. Hey, let's get it. Dude. Season four. Ballista. Alright. That's pretty dope. That's really dope. Holy cow. This is for Gundam Evolution free to play game, y'all. Alright, we're gonna run that back again. So, we also have a little bit more information to share here. Uh, let me see if we can find this. But, uh, um, first and foremost, I think this is kind of dope. I'm kind of excited. Why? Because Gundam Dynamis is like the equivalent of heavy arms for some people. I don't know if it's the color or if people just like that support style suit. But I feel as if um, that is probably one of the more popular double O suits and pilots, um, in my opinion. I'm not saying they're my personal favorite, but I do like lock on. I do uh, respect a sniping suit. Um, not biased at all, but you know, whatever. I'm very shocked to see them bring these two bad boys back. I, I will consider these two heavy hitters. So hopefully they'll continue to bring in more popular suits into the game. Uh, and hopefully that'll also help bring some more hype to the game. Because, man, I'm, I'm liking this lineup a lot of suits. I'm very curious who they're going to have next. I wonder if they're going to bring a seed suit in next. It's very cute. Anyway, so we were able to get a little bit more information. At the time of this release, uh, this mentions... Gundam Dynamis. The new unit features a GN sniper rifle which allows you to fire at long range while deploying a forward shield that blocks damage when you zoom into the scope as well as GN beam pistols which lets players fire effectively at medium range. So you get the shield and you get the beam pistols. Uh, so that's actually pretty, that's pretty nice. I like that. Uh, other skills include the ability to change weapons, fire a GN missile that draws in your enemies for a short amount of time, once the missiles explode, repairing allies from afar with the recovery gun. Yo, so there's a lot here. All right, so you have a GM missile, and then the, the missiles explode. And then that's what we saw when he got sucked into the wall, right? Um, repairing allies with the recovery gun, and then the Trans Am G maneuver allows you to charge the sniper rifle for additional damage. Interesting. I just got, yo, all right, I'm about it. So headquarters is a new mode, right? And that's what I think we saw them shooting. It's a new game mode. Teams contend over a target area and a core near each team's deployment area. So each round is divided into an area capture phase in which the teams try to take over the target area and a core assault slash defense phase in which the core must be attacked or protected. Makes sense. Also mentioned players earn points by talking, taking over the target area. While attacking teams can earn points by reducing the core's durability to 50% or destroying the core, defending teams will get a point if they successfully protect the core from being destroyed. The first team to receive 5 points wins the match. Okay, so that's really interesting. Uh, 
I think it's important to have a variety of game modes. And again, I'll be honest, I have not played Gun Revolution like that probably since release. But the more I see like the addition to all these suits, the more I'm feeling like, okay, I could definitely down this, download this on the PlayStation 5 again and just, you know, just play casually and chill. But I feel as if the way this roster is going, uh, it's going to warrant some more attention. Now, I just want to do a quick video uh, sharing this with you guys. But, yo, we in there. We got Gundam Dynamics. So, let me know your theories. What is the next suit we're going to get? Is it going to be a support-like suit? Is it going to be uh, like a tanky-like suit? What do you guys think? For you who still play Evolution, what would you like to see in it? Drop it in the comments below. And as always, you guys are amazing. I love you to death. Stay out of trouble. And until next time. That's but love. Peace.